The CD is called Fresh Paint, and very appropriately so, as it takes old Bahamian classics that are dear to us and freshens them up with a new Bahamian sound and direction. The purpose was for initially to have music to put on hold and the Ministry of Tourism, and they have events, you know, and there are persons always coming here who do movies, etc., looking for background music of Bahamian. and there was none ever done really instrumentally. So um, that challenge was something that I agreed with and wanted to do in any event. And so uh, we were able to agree in principle to make it happen, and then it just took off. Bahamian producer and recording artist Fred Ferguson says the project has been a labor of love, and he attributes the success of this project to the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation, and the entire group of artists that contributed. This was a lot of work because, first of all, we had to choose the songs, then I had to sit in the studio here and arrange these songs, and then I wanted to also include a number of local musicians because I didn't want it to just be all me. Um, and so the, 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 the selection process of getting the persons to, to perform on it, but before that, to find the writers of the song to make sure they got their due, um, royalties and so forth and so you know after I chose the 10 songs and I must say that they gave me complete control to do all of these things and then I had to speak with the persons who wrote the songs and then brought in some of the younger musicians for example who had never heard some of these songs before. Ferguson says that it's not a typical dance CD and believes that because of this only certain stations are going to be attracted to this selection of music. Nonetheless, he strongly advises every lover of Bahamian classics to take a listen. You will hear songs like Bangalee, which, is, which could be danced to, but it would not be in a nightclub, so to speak. And so I believe it's going to take on a whole, it's going to bring back a whole sense of calm to the music industry for those who purchase it. And um, the Ministry of Tourism, they have their entire PR department behind it to promote this through all of their tourism offices and to have it for sale in the market as well. And online, so persons will be able to buy it online and so forth. So I think we're going to get a good response from it. Fresh Paint will be officially released to the public at Dungalik Studio on September 30th at 7 p.m. Be sure to get your copy of these unforgettable Bahamian classics. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.